Well, good morning. And uh, I don't know, after five, I was out here about four, I think, <laughs> trying to get some pictures of the moon and the star. I got to just settle on the moon. And the moon is moving so fast. Or the Earth and the moon and the, the orbits <laughs> of the moon around the Earth. It's just wonderful. You can see, I don't know, I guess valleys in the moon, the dark spots. And I'm keeping my camera just still. And that's how fast it's, everything's moving. And I came out on my knees early this morning and just started to wonder. And it declared something wonderful. It declared about a person who loves you so much that it, he was willing to die in your place to save you. And that's Jesus Christ, the Son of God. And he spoke into existence that moon. And you can clearly see that in the beginning of the Bible. In Genesis chapter 1 and It says God spoke and God created and he spoke the into existence the greater light for the day and the lesser night. I believe it's described for the night. And on the fourth day, maybe in the first day he even created them because he created light on the first day of creation. But maybe on the fourth day, he just fashioned the moon and the sun. Whatever, it's there. <laughs> and it declares the glory of God. And why did he make it all? He made it all for you and me, for mankind to enjoy, to see his greatness and glory, and to choose a relationship with him as being created by God. And uh, recently I was, I had COVID and uh, was so weak, still suffering from weakness it seems sometimes. And uh, now I'm gonna try to move that back here, okay? Maybe get this into focus better. So we uh, won't have that going in and out. Wow, I don't know how that changed like that. <laughs> I, don't even, I don't know how I lost that. Uh, man, sorry for the uh, the blurriness here. <laughs> Try to get this this move back. Oop! And, oh, gotta adjust a few different things here. You know how Gordon I had him working this, uh, this camera stand. And uh, I don't know, let's see, it's expanded up. And uh, I don't know how they got. All right, here I can lock this in here. All right, here, here we go. Oop. Oh, geez, come on, God, be a bit more coordinated here. Yeah, I call myself Bob sometimes. Yeah. Bob, I said Rob. Ah, oh, come on, lock it. All right. <laughs> so, so during that weakness, and uh, you know, I found that uh, strength in a relationship with the God who created me, and talking to Him, Lord, help me, save me. <laughs> and in memory verses. Uh, Psalm 23 really was the one that a lot, and Joshua 1, 5 through 9 helped me. And I thought it was a time I w was so sick that I wouldn't be working, that I, oh, I could read the God's Word more. But you know what? Actually, I guess I felt so weak, I didn't even feel I could pick my Bible up and read. So, talking to God in prayer, and in those few memory verses that I had of God speaking to me in his word really helped me to get me through that time. And loved ones, 
that, that helped me. Uh, and my wife, you know, and family and friends that, that would help me bring food. Uh, and uh, it helped me realize that what God really wants is a relationship with us, a close, loving relationship. And I, He is the one who made that all possible by, like I said, Jesus, the Son of God, God who created that moon. He came from heaven to be born as a baby so that He can become a man, a, a perfect man, who was the acceptable sacrifice for God the Father to, to, to satisfy God's wrath against us for our sins, to take the death we deserve for our sins, separation from God. Jesus did that for us on the cross. He was made sin on the cross for us and died in our place and paid a penalty for our sins so that God would take away our sins, put them on Jesus and, and kill those, kill the person who bore those sins. And I always make things complicated, it seems. <laughs> and I just wanted to come out here and, and, and show you the glory of God. And actually, when I saw the glory of the moon, and I'm going to blur again, sorry. We work this thing. <laughs> Alrighty, here we go. Yeah, okay, maybe we'll get the. Uh, maybe we'll come down here. Ah. Okay, there we go. <laughs> so when I first came out this morning, I started quoting this verse: that "God loves you." And uh, it's actually about 42 years ago that I turned away from God. God didn't heal my dad, you know, and I believed he would. And my dad died a miserable death. And for a good man, I thought it was a cruel death for a good man. And I turned away from God, packed up all my Bibles, put them all away, stopped believing in God. But when it was one night, a year or two after my dad died, looking up at the, wasn't even looking at the moon the time but looking at the stars and there were so many stars and it all declared the glory of God and I couldn't stop denying I, I, could, I mean I couldn't deny God anymore he was declaring his glory and it's just what the Bible says in Psalms 19 I'm going to try to read alright just a part of it oh everything's moving so quick I gotta move this camera again then Lord willing I'll go back and uh, do that. Okay. Uh, sorry. Oh, well, here we go. <laughs> this God who spoke, he, he spoke the, this moon into existence. And it, it, it tells us God speaks to us because he wants a relationship with us, a loving relationship. And this is Psalms 19, verse 1, I begin. The heavens declare the glory of God, and the sky above proclaims his work. Here again, Psalms 119, God's word. The heavens declare the glory of God, and the sky above proclaims his work, his handiwork. Day to day pours out speech night to night reveals knowledge there is no speech nor are there words whose voice is not heard their voice goes out through all the earth and their words to the end of the world in them he has set a tent for the sun which comes out like a bridegroom leaving his chamber and like a strong man runs its course with joy its rising is from the end of the heavens and its circuit to the end of them, and there is nothing hidden from its heat. The law of the Lord is perfect, reviving the soul. The law of the word, Lord is just another word for God's word. God's, the law of the Lord is God's word. The Bible, all right? Not all of the Bible is called the law, but you get the point, I believe. <laughs> Okay, the first five books 
of, of the Bible, the Torah, Pentateuch, that's considered the books of the law. I don't think this is Markov, <laughs> the books of the law. The law of the Lord is perfect, reviving the soul. The testimony of the Lord is sure. God's word is, is testimony. The testimony of the Lord is sure, making wise the simple. The precepts of the Lord are right, rejoicing the heart. The commandment of the Lord is pure, enlightening the eyes. The fear of the Lord is clean, enduring forever. The rules of the Lord are true and righteous altogether. And that's verse 9. Verse 10. Let's get this moon back. All right, I'm trying to find the moon again. Move to the moon. Sorry. All blurred. I don't know why it's so blurry now. Yeah. Whoop. Come, come, come on. Alright. <laughs> Let's see what's in. Alright. Verse 10. More to be desired. Are they than gold, even much fine gold, sweeter also than honey, and drippings of the honeycomb? Moreover, by them is your servant warned, and keeping them there is great reward. Let's end. Oh Lord, I pray that everyone listening to hear to me now would know how much you love them, God, and choose a relationship with you, God, by choosing your Son, God, Jesus, the Son of God, who is God the Son, choosing Jesus as their Lord, their God, their Savior. Live in us, Lord Jesus. Rule our life. We turn away from our sins. They killed you on the cross, and we turn to follow you. Jesus is the risen Lord and Savior, Savior who rose from the dead and lives today. Live in us, Lord Jesus. Rule our life. Thank you that you will never leave us or forsake us. You are always with us to love us and care for us. I pray this in your name, Jesus, my Lord and Savior, who saves me from hell and gives me eternal life and forgiveness of all my sins now and forever. Amen. I don't want to end on a blur. <laughs> Let's see. Can we get this back and uh, not have a blur? Let's see. Please, Lord, bring that back into focus. Well, all right, there we go. That's better. <laughs> well, thanks for being with me. And uh, I wish I could have got a shot of the stars that were beautifully there. It's probably a big planet with stars. But I'm not too camera, camera wise to get that done. Thanks for being with me. And you always remember, God loves you and wants a loving relationship with you. He loves you so much. Choose to love him and know an abundant, great love that will never end. Thank you for being with me. God bless you. Bye-bye.